Hello everyone. Thank you for joining this talk. I am Sridhar. Here I am going to present our work on internumerology interference in 5G new radio analysis and bounds for time varying fading channels. This is the joint work with my research advisor, Professor Nilesh B. Mehta. This is the outline. First, I will discuss what is mixed numerology and its use in 5G. Then we'll discuss the contributions and system model. After that, we shall see the analysis and bounds for internumerology interference. With that, we'll conclude. Mixed numerology has been adopted in 5G to enhance the flexibility and provide services to users with diverse requirements on the same carrier. I shall explain what is mixed numerology in OFTM. In a mixed numerology OFTM, the entire system bandwidth is divided into non-overlapping bandwidth parts. And each bandwidth part can be assigned an OFDM waveform with distinct parameters. These parameters are subcarrier spacing and cyclic prefix length. And these constitute a numerology. In 5G NR, the subcarrier spacings and cyclic prefix lengths of different numerologies are related by integer powers of two. The figure on the left shows the resource grid of, it, of an OFDM system with two numerologies. Here we can see that the subcarrier spacing of numerology two is twice that of numerology one. The figure on the right shows the time domain representation. And here we can see the OFDM symbol duration and cyclic prefix duration of numerology two are half of the corresponding durations in numerology one. In the current 5G NR standard, the subcarrier spacings range from 15 kilohertz to 480 kHz. Now I shall explain the major drawback in mixed numerology of the systems, which is internumerology interference. In this figure, we show the internumerology interference in an OFDM system with two numerologies. The sub, we see that the subcarrier spacing of numerology two is twice that of numerology one. These subcarriers are essentially sync functions in the frequency domain. We see that at the peak of the sync function of numerology one, the other sync functions in numerology one are zero, whereas the sync functions of numerology two are non-zero. This causes loss of orthogonality and it is the reason for internumerology interference at the receiver of numerology one. In the case of numerology two receiver also, the subcarriers of numerology one cause internumerology interference. The subcarriers which do not have an integer number of cycles within the duration of numerology two's OFDM symbol duration cause this interference. In this work, we shall analyze Internumerology interference in time varying multipart channels. These are our contributions. We have derived general closed form expressions for fading averaged INA power at each subcarrier for a mixing numerology OFDM system. Here we account for all the numerologies of 5GNR and also God band. We have derived closed form expressions for bandwidth averaged INA power in a mixing neurology OFDM system. We have derived insightful bounds for bandwidth averaged INA power and brought out its quadratic dependence on top of spread. Now I shall explain the system model. S of N is the mixed numerology signal transmitted by the G node B. It is the sum of the signals S1 of N and S2 of N scaled by the square root of their respective transmit powers P1 and P2. In 5G NR, these transmit powers P1 and P2 can differ by 23 dB. The signal S1 of N contains user data for user 1 and has numerology 1. Similarly, the signal S2 of N contains user data for user 2 and has numerology 2. The subcarrier spacing of numerology 2 is 2 to the power mu times the subcarrier spacing of numerology 1. Here mu is a positive integer. 
the transmitted signal of numerology i is shown in this equation. Here x u v of i are the complex symbols modulating the windowed complex exponentials. u represents the subcarrier index and there are z i subcarriers. v represents the OFDM symbol index. The transmitted mixing numerology signal is received at both the users through their respective fading channels. Thus, both the users experience inter-numerology interference. The signal received at user i is denoted by y i of 1. Now we shall see the demodulated signal at subcarrier k and OFDM symbol m of user i. It is shown in this equation. It is obtained by computing the inner product between the received signal y i of n and the corresponding complex exponential. So the demodulated signal y hat km of i contains the signal component, ini component, and intercarrier interference component. We focus only on the ini component in this work. Now I shall describe our first result, which is the fading averaged ini power at subcarrier k of user. to show the derived expression in this equation. Note that the fading averaged INA power does not depend upon the OFDM symbol index. This is due to the wide sense stationary nature of the channel. The INA power is a sum of the contributions from all the subcarriers of numerology 2 and contributions from all the uncorrelated channel paths. The INA expression adds the contributions from all the OFDM symbols of numerology 2, whose support in the time domain overlaps with an OFDM symbol of numerology 1. The number of such interfering OFDM symbols in this case is 2 power n. There are many important parameters which are reflected in this equation. The first one is the autocorrelation of the health type of the multipath channel. It is defined in this equation. The second one is the spectral distance, which is defined in this equation. It is the distance between the victim subcarrier K of numerology 1 and the interfering subcarrier U of numerology 2. Basically, it specifies how much separated the two subcarriers are when measured in terms of numerology 1's subcarrier frame. Next, we shall see the other metric which we use to quantify the INA power, which is the bandwidth averaged INA power. It is the mean of the fading averaged INA powers at all the subcarriers of the numerals. We have derived a closed form expression for it, and it is shown in this equation. Once again, we see that it depends on the channel autocorrelation and the transmit power of numerology two. Here we show the expressions for the fading averaged and bandwidth averaged INA powers at user 2 in these equations. Once again, we see that they depend on the channel autocorrelation, the spectral distance, and the transmit power of numerology 1. We see that these expressions are different from those of numerology 1. This shows that the INA caused by a wider numerology is not the same as that caused by a narrower numerology. Now I shall discuss the Monte Carlo simulation results for INA power at user 1. We have used the TDLD line of sight channel with a delay spread of 100 nanosecond and Doppler spread of 30 hertz. The subcarrier spacing is 15 kilohertz for numerology 1 and for numerology 2, two values are used which are 30 kilohertz and 60 kilohertz. The figure plots the normalized INA power versus the subcarrier index. The red curve plots the INA power for the case with 30 kilohertz subcarrier spacing for numerology 2, whereas the blue curve shows the results for 60 kilohertz subcarrier spacing. We show the simulated values by the 
plus in the triangle markers. We have generated the results for two cases. In the first case, there is no guard band between the numerologies. And in the second, a guard band of twice the numerology to subcarrier spacing is used. We see that the INA power varies from minus 25 dB to minus 5 dB. And it has a wide dynamic range of 20 dB. We also see that the presence of guard band reduces the INA power. We notice that the subcarriers towards the edge experience higher INA power and the INA power has an oscillatory nature. Now I shall discuss the Monte Carlo simulation results for INA power at user 2. The simulation setup and parameters are the same as for the previous figure. Once again, we see that the INA power exhibits a wide dynamic range of 20 dB. And the presence of guard band reduces the INA power. We notice that the subcarriers close to the interfering numerology experience higher INA power. Unlike user 1, the INA power at user 2 does not have an oscillatory nature. It monotonically decreases as the subcarrier index increases. The explanation for the presence and absence of this oscillatory nature is given in our ICC paper. In this figure, we show the impact of INA at each user for different modulation and coding schemes specified in 5 gpr Here we plot the block error rate as a function of the SNR in the TDLC non-line of sight channel. For the BLER plot of user 1, the power of numerology 2 is 5 times that of numerology 1. For the BLER plot of user 2, the power of numerology 1 is 7 times that of numerology 2. Note that the powers of numerologies can differ by as much as 23 dB in 5GNR. The BLER curves are generated using the 5G toolbox of MATLAB. I shall explain the simulation setup briefly. The transport blocks of both the users are mapped to a mixed numerology signal and pass it through different realizations of the TDS channel to user 1 and user 2. Next, AWG noise is added at each user's receiver and the demodulation blocks for each user are implemented. With this, the block error rates are evaluated. We show results for MCSs that use 16 pan, 64 pan and 26 pan. From the plot, we see that INA causes a significant degradation of BLA for the higher rate MCSs that use 64 pam and 256 pam. Now I shall discuss the bounds for INA power. The expressions we derived for INA powers do not reveal the dependence on the Doppler spread. So we derive upper and lower bounds to gain more insights. We show the upper bound here. Here, the effect of the Doppler spectrum is captured by the constant alpha 1. It is the second normalized moment of the Doppler spectrum and it is defined in this equation. We have shown that the INA power has quadratic dependence on Doppler spread. This is similar to the quadratic dependence for ICI shown by Lee and Shimin. So this is the expression for the lower bound of bandwidth average DNA power at user 1. It contains an additional fourth power term of the Doppler, but its coefficient is very small. Here we show the upper bound and lower bound for the bandwidth average DNA power at user 2. Once again, we see the quadratic dependence of the Doppler. We notice that the bounds for user 2 do not depend upon the powers of the channel taps. This is not the case with user 1.
In this figure, we plot the bandwidth averaged INA power at user 1 along with its bounds as a function of the scaled Doppler spread. The INA power is normalized with respect to the power per subcarrier of the user's numerology. The black line shows the exact INA power. The lower bound is shown by the green marker and the upper bound is shown by the red marker. We see that the upper and lower bounds are very tight. The plot shows the quadratic dependence on Doppler spread. And we see that the normalized INA power varies from 11.6 into 10 power minus 3 to 12.1 into 10 power minus 3. So it is relatively insensitive to Doppler spread. With this, we conclude. Here are the key takeaway points. We derived general closed form expressions for the fading averaged and bandwidth averaged INA powers in a mixed numerology 5G OFDM system. They account for all the numerologies in 5G NR and guard band. We have derived bounds for bandwidth averaged INA power and showed its quadratic dependence on Doppler spread. Through our simulations, we have shown that the INA power is sufficiently large to affect higher rate MCSS of 5GNR. Thank you.